Hello everyone, this is Zeph from here. Welcome back to more Dev Bro. Playing more Heretic to Zulkin. Weird hand. Very, very weird hand. This isn't terrible if I can get a planter. But other than that, this is a really weird hand. Of course, sometimes Heretics have dead hands. I, mean, I think I'm only playing nine Heretics and the two Convocation. But still. Still. I've always liked Radix's deck. I like the fact that they can play um, a wing beat of Giant Dragon. I absolutely love that card when I'm not on the wrong side of it. When I'm on the wrong side of it, it's just. Uh, it's a really powerful card. It can wreck pendulums. It can. Man, it's hard to stop, for the most part, which is another really good thing about it. I mean, I'm not playing it in this deck, because it wouldn't really work that well, but anyways, I don't like these setting wars going on. I'm gonna mill a Tefnuit. A Tefnuit? Now mill a Sue. Yeah, no suit, just in case I draw a planter. It must be my own seal. <laughs> well, this deck runs triple called Haunted, so I can use that to my advantage with this, which is pretty nice in all honesty. I'll still be able to, able to make Sulkin if I draw a Heretic Monster. Or if I draw, if I draw any of my monsters, Knight Tigerfer, it's a Gemini, huh? Interesting card. If he attacks, I might just flip Call the Haunted preemptively. Why not? It'll put Sue on board. He chooses to not attack. I'll play the effect of Ashes again. Noble Arms of Destiny? Okay. Once per turn, it cannot be destroyed. Fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use Seal at this point. Probably mill it. Is it a set that I'm running? I don't. Um, Nepthet. Go ahead and mill a Nepthet. My internet's being a bit slow, I do apologize. But I need to record. Because I want to keep consistent. So that'll just probably mean these videos will be longer. Nothing too terrible, I don't think. Another Call of the Haunted. I uh, I need a mass planter for sure. I'm just gonna wait until he swings, cause I have Sue in the grave. I mean this is a bit of a slow hand, I mean I opened all traps into lands and to an MST at some point. So yeah, it's gonna be slow when you don't open a single monster, but Really, there's not much you could do to help that. I mean, you could play more heretic monsters. All right, so he Gemini summons the Night Digrefer, which only adds from the grave, so I don't care about it. Did your snatch deals back right here? I'm gonna go ahead and play Seals and another nip that. And if Night Dragofer does attack like his I'll just summon Zoo from the grave. With Call. Probably my best play. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is interesting. I don't know what he's trying to do here. But we'll see, I guess. I can also fiendish chain now that it's not a Gemini monster. But now that it's not a normal monster, it's been summoned. So it does have an effect. But oh well, um... 1700 damage is no issue. Which comes to worst, I can MST the ashes if I'm drawn to something. Okay, you don't count. You're like the one thing I need to not draw. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who would have thought I would have drawn my one Labradorite? <laughs> Oh well. Noble Knight Atrogus, so he's playing Noble Knights? I should probably stop milling with Ashes, but I just want to send my Depth Heads since they're level 5. Caliburn. If anything, he'll make the big Noble Knight. Not the big one, but the Exceed to try and pop my back row, which at that point... Eh, could let him, but I'll finish just chain it. <laughs> Gain some life points back after burning a Solemn. This is bigger than Sue. If he's smart, he attacks with this first. He is a smart cookie. I might be forced to make a bit of an odd play during my next turn. As much as I hate to, I'm probably going to have to call a hunted and pop this with MST, unless I get a good draw. Which I'm not afraid to do, because I'm not afraid of this matchup at all. I'm going to mill my last snap with that. Because it, it doesn't do much. It's level 5, so it's not as good as the other two. Alright, let's draw into something good. Convocation. That's something good. Switch out a Tefnuit. Summon the Tefnuit. Call the Haunted to Sue. Sue will tribute the Tefnuit. I summon the Tefnuit as bait, basically. No, no reason not to summon it, see if I can't. Blow that out even though I have a uh, lance. Pop you. It was a D prison, okay. And my Labrador to my hand. Which doesn't really matter because at this point I'll make Zulkin. Probably going to Hot Red. So, make Zulkin. And I have Scrap Iron Scarecrow, which is pretty good with Sulkin, if I had to say so myself. Set it. Sulkin will activate. Summoning Hot Red Dragon Arc Fiend, which is a completely stupid name, by the way. Ah, TCG names. the effect. That way things will die. And I'll have to attack over this again because of destiny, but that's fine. I have a Phoenix Chain and a Scrap Iron, so I'm not afraid of anything. But again, I apologize for this being a longer episode due to my internet, but... Eh, what can you do? 
Maybe I'll toss a one out again later tonight when my internet's working better. We'll see what I feel like doing. A bit of a later upload tonight as well because I have classes Tuesday, Thursday, so I didn't record that far in advance. <laughs> Maybe I should, but oh well. I really don't see him getting out of this with his deck. I don't even see regular Noble Knights getting out of this. I mean, let's say like a, a god hand in the last chapter and a bunch of things. Okay, what does that accomplish though? I might just MST this, to be completely honest. Revive my Sue, set another thing, get more cards. Alright, he's gonna bring back. A Torgus to his hand. Which I don't see doing much. Zizolkin is such a powerful card. So he's gonna summon a Torgus. Interesting. Yeah, look at this. And this, he can't even attack this card. And it, he can't target it. If you don't know what this card does, basically, you set a tuner and non tuner level 5 or higher, same level though, to the graveyard to summon it. Uh, that's the only way it can be summoned. And once per turn, when you set a spell or trap on your field, you can special summon a uh, power tool dragon or level 7 or 8 dragon type synchro monster. That means Bells, Spark, Hot Red, Michael, Moonlight. Anything like that. No clue what's going on over here. This game's over. This, yeah, Dissolkin's just really powerful. And you can use cards like Dust Tornado, um, the artifact that sets from the graveyard, or Scrap Iron Scarecrow to set during your opponent's turn and get even more advantage. Yeah, an artifact engine isn't terrible in this deck at all. That wouldn't have been big enough, would it? No, that would have only been 28. Unless he had another card in hand. Alright. That was it, but longer, so... Alright. I might play this deck for a third time, even. I've I've just been doing, like, two drills per deck, but I might record some extra with this one, because it's pretty nice, honestly. Anyways, thank you all for watching, as always, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care everyone. Bye bye.